and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taqi and I'm an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this show is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, skills and knowledge that you need that will help, that will help to improve your overall health and well-being. And we'll, we'll do that by going through different topics, different information that will help you to understand how food and diet and every aspect of our lifestyle and even how we approach those things could impact our health both in the short term and in the long term and that's why it's very important for us to learn this information and then we can find out how we could practically apply that in our everyday life. Everyone's different so there is no one thing that will suit everyone. Today's topic are top tips for suhoor. A lot of the times people skip this meal because they're not hungry or you're asleep. Try not to skip this meal. It's very important to have your suhoor. It's a recommended sunnah for a reason. So try not to miss this meal and try not to miss suhoor. Um, what are some quick things or quick ways that you can um, have suhoor? It really depends on you and what you like. Some people choose to have suhoor uh, before they go to sleep and others choose to go to sleep and then wake up and have suhoor. Now, you could try different things and see which one that you prefer and which one uh, works for you better. Uh, when you do have suhoor, try um, to have something small. Don't force yourself to overeat, but make sure those foods are nutritious and make sure that you stay hydrated. So great foods that you could have for suhoor include things like fiber, protein, um, healthy fats, all of those will keep you fuller for longer periods of time. So things like um, oatmeal, things like eggs, um, nuts, fruits and vegetables, they will help you um, get those nutritious food, but without necessarily overfeeding yourself. Um, other, um, other things that you could uh, include in your suhoor is to make sure that you stay hydrated. That's very important. So try to have a glass of water before your meal um, and then after your, your meal. Or try to have some of the, the foods that keep you hydrated for longer periods of time. Um, you could also try, for example, um, blending a smoothie with watermelon, some mint and some ice and some water. That will help you to uh, make sure that you get something hydrated but you're also getting a nutritious food. So whether you have your suhoor um, before you go to sleep or you wake up and then you have your suhoor, find out what is it that works for you but make sure that you do have something even if it's something small. Try to eat your um, suhoor meal slowly as well. That will help your mind and your body become aware of what you're doing. So don't miss suhoor, try to have something. Thank you for joining us and Wassalamu.